mesmerised by the story. I had so deep understanding of that part of the world. I think this and one other interview are the only ones I'm doing. It's, yeah, it's amazing. Oh, I can't believe it. The sun is shining at last for us. Yeah, I'm just so happy. Yeah, it's great. Everyone pulled at least one practical joke on another, especially Michael. Just telling lies. <laughs> <laughs> doing yoga, and I said, oh, Natalie Portman's going to be here in a second. I can't be seen doing this. Let's go break something. <laughs> but it was a very thrillingly bumpy ride. Swarovski has always been a major part of the screen, whether it's the silver screen or just uh, theatrical performances. So to have a movie which is about the performing stage, it's absolutely relevant to have a product in. Everybody will ask uh, themselves why is Roland Emmerich making a movie about Shakespeare? You make a small little uh, costume movie and <laughs> see what happens. You know? much as probably when I was in labour. To come here and actually see it live is fantastic. Definitely, Definitely buy Mrs. Brown's Boys on DVD! Woo! Now look here, Vicar. I've got my horse to help. I've got a very important exercise I've got that. Captain Matt, you have not at the hall tonight. This is my night at the hall. This is my office. It is my church hall. And I am trying to control the film. Yeah, every time I do Doctor Who, that's twice. I get killed. I got zapped by a Dalek. <laughs> and I think as far as I know, I'm the only person ever on a Doctor Who to be killed by a Dalek and come back to life. Oh, special potion you took. Special potion and a good script editor. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>